here on the smart stand at eCar Expo in Stockholm in Sweden and we've got two different variants the number one hashtag one and then the hashtag one in the Brabus edition so hashtag one is um, Mercedes Gili combination at uh, one doing design one doing manufacturing so this is floating roof in this champagne gold metallic with that smart logo here and then that gloss black going from the c pillar around to that rear so this will be up against the likes of the aura funky cat probably a small bit too bulbous for me but very aero i'm sure and you have um real vents down here um for air curtaining sensors uh, camera sensors that side to side light bar smart logo on the front I'm not sure if that's actually level um I probably would have the smart rather word rather than I'd have the logo if that was me. Gloss black, big bulbous, silver matte roof, gloss black um, sunroof, roof, door. So it's brown, bronze, two tone thing going on here. So dark brown leather with that contrast stitching, antique bronze handles, kind of a plasticky, and then a good big door bin. Lovely to get in and out of this car actually. Really nice, nice and high head up display, three spoke steering wheel. Oh, we're getting all the bells and whistles here. Uh, IR display, as you can see in the camera, that's not live to the human eye. You've got nice contrast there. I'd like that in dark if that's possible. And then when here, you're going to see our little AI assistant in a second, if you remember uh, from some of the UK reviews. This little chappy down here, the little fox. And um, this is hidden. Chi wireless charging pad, two USB type C's and a 12 volt. Nice, the quality is very good. I have to give it that. Very good. Put your charge card in there. Very handy. That's what that says there, if you can see it. Charge card. And then a bit of space inside here for storage. Some storage in underneath here as well. That's textured. Seats are really comfortable. Glove box, decent size. A bit of a dust magnet going on here with this antique bronze crack. And then this um, ambient light, LED light. That's that big pano sunroof. You have the glasses. Interesting toggle switch here, which is the sunroof. Interesting. Clear uh, surround wing mirror, rear view mirror. Yeah. Nice. There's definitely an audience for this. There's definitely an audience for this. And that's smart. Originally, that was a small commuter car. Isn't that way anymore? Close. Uh, side to side tail light. Power tail lift, high level brake light with wiper, and then you've got again, yeah, it's the size of a or a funky cat kind of a boot, so you're not going to be moving house with it. But for shopping, day to day stuff, probably perfect. Then that seat was set for me, and you are looking at nice space in underneath the seat and good head height, massive head height, huge head height, very upright seating position in this, but just nice, very nice. And you've got your armrest here as well. Let's go and have a look at the Brabus edition. So we've got that regular one there with those aero wheels. And then we've got that Brabus edition over here. A bit more aggressive on the front with these grills. Lights are similar, but you have that red accent down here and that glass black with the red with the sensors again. But yeah, that matte grey frameless doors on both actually. And you've got that red roof floating with that black brake. We'll have a look now on the inside as to see what Brabus have done, but I think it's more more stylized. I'm not sure if the performance has been changed. But yeah, you can see such a different color interior, which I prefer to the antique bronze actually. Same screen, it's got the dark mode, which I was looking for, so yeah. Very good. That is my quick look around the Smart One. Hashtag one, number one. I think they want us to call it hashtag one. So yeah, I'll have a quick look inside here now that these gentlemen have gone. Oh, nice contrast in the red there. Yeah, nice. This is kind of a more of a metallic gunmetal plastic. Very nice. Yeah, I like this color interior. I've got the Brabus headdress. Nice. Stats about the Smart Hashtag One. It's a rear wheel drive and has 200 kilowatt. This is for the standard uh, kilowatt motor. Uh, 270 PS giving you a maximum torque of 343 Newton meters. 
the maximum top speed of 180 kilometers an hour or 112 miles per hour. It is a NCM battery with a 66 kilowatt hour capacity with a maximum range of 420 to 440 kilometers or 260 to 273 miles. Maximal charging capabilities, AC 22 kilowatts, DC 150 kilowatts. Charging time, AC less than three hours, DC less than 30 minutes. Uh, exterior measurements, the length is 4.27 meters, the height, sorry, the width is 1.822 meters, and the width is, sorry, the height is 1.636 meters, wheelbase of 2.75 meters. Empty weight is coming in at 1,820 kgs, rims are 19 inch, and the tires are 235-45-19s. There is a frunk in the smart hashtag one that's 15 liters and the trunk then depending on the configuration is 273 to 411 liters it is a 12.8 inch high resolution touchscreen display and then it is a fully integrated infotainment system with a 9.2 fully digital instrument cluster seven airbags all the adas systems and has all digital encryption Moving over to the smart hashtag one Brabus edition uh, accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.9 seconds, courtesy of its dual motor all wheel drive system, generating 315 kilowatts of power, 428 horsepower at 543 newton meters of torque. Obviously the same battery at 66 kilowatt hour and you can charge it from 10 to 80 percent in 30 minutes. Prices for the hashtag smart hashtag one in Germany starts off at 42 and a half and then moving up to 48 and a half thousand for the Brabus edition. That is my look around smart stand at eCar Expo. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe and share the video. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.